The first thing you want to do is you want to take rubbing alcohol and wipe down your lighter and let it dry. That way you get all the grease from your fingertips and everything else off of it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your lighter wrap um, and I've already cut most of these. If you get one and you've got like a little bit of a gap where you can see the backing off of there, I recommend cutting it as closely as possible to the edge of the actual decal because it makes it so much easier when you're trying to line it up and see if it's on straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to face it down and I'm going to peel the backing off of this. And this is a square, so there's it doesn't matter which side you do it on. Um, and what I do is I rest my hands on a table. That way I have a steady hand and I just kind of eyeball it to get it to the very edge of the lighter. And then I just take my finger like that and just kind of peel it around. If there's any wrinkles or bubbles, we can get those out in a little bit. I'm just gonna peel this backing off. It's gonna come up a little bit because right now I'm resting it on some of the transfer tape that I still need to get up on that other side. pretty good. You just kind of rub out any air bubbles you see. They're usually along the corners I've found. Um, but if you do have any air bubbles, what you can do is um, this pin I have actually has like a sewing needle attached to it. And um, you can basically just take it and you want to be super careful, especially with these opaque um, metallic colors. If you don't press hard enough, it'll slide and scratch across. So basically what I do is I just press it in and just kind of poke it and then I can just kind of push out whatever air bubbles there are along the way. But that's all you have to do.